Right guys, we're going to change a plan uh, for this light here. We're going to put in a batten light the same as was there already. Um, just an LED one, just a more modern one, but just upon thinking about it, I think it was better to do this. The reason I've never done this, or didn't want to do that, is because we've got an Artex ceiling, which if you look, the stippled ceiling. Um, so I didn't really want to do that, to have to, you know, re-Artex it, but that's what I'm doing at the moment. Because <laughs> I've put the light in, I need to try and match try and match the existing uh, with this. I'm just smearing uh, some filling compound across there. Uh, I'll show you how I do the Artex in a minute. Right, there's my attempt at a patch. <laughs> I think it'll be okay once that dry, once this filler dries, it dries like white. So we'll see what it's like tomorrow. It looks a bit, you know, a bit odd just now because it's a different colour. Um, if that turns out okay tomorrow, um, I'll do the rest of this. Uh, and then I'll let us get the. We'll be nearly ready for painting the ceiling. Um, I've still got to do a final fill in this box, which I'll do at the moment. And the, the patch on the wall with the extractor was. I've got that skim across. That should be us, but this is what I'm worried about at the moment. But hopefully. Nah, that'll be fine. Instead of waiting for a pat of test parts tomorrow as we went for it, yeah, what's the worst that can happen? Sand it off and do it again. So I've done it as best I can, I've just stippled the ceiling around the light. We'll see how that dries tomorrow. Um, I'm pretty sure that'll be fine. A lot of even bumps there, but I'll tie in with the rest of the ceiling. Right guys, it's the next day. Uh, the the Artex I'm going to It's actually came out okay. Um, the only thing I'm not happy with is that you can actually see the ridge. The ridge where the old light was. Well, some places. So I think what I'll do is run a chisel along this, this line here. I'm just knocking off any sort of straight lines. Um, this one. If you can see that now. See a bit there where I've knocked all the straight edges off. Right along there as well. Um, so I'll just put another smear of filler on and give it a dab of sponge. Hopefully that should eliminate the, the lines. Um, make this all blend in a bit better. Right guys, it's me finished patching that area. Uh, as I said, I've just knocked off all that straight you know, the, the high straight edges with a chisel. Just re-stippled it along that edge. Uh, hopefully it should blend in a bit better now. Once that's painted, I'm pretty sure you won't see that at all. Right guys, I was back at the ceiling. Um, this is the bit that I patched this morning, I got rid of the lines. Um, it seems to be drying quite nicely now, so. See that? Uh, we've got quite a good match there, that's alright. We'll stand back. So I'm happy with that now, so at least we can say that's finished. I uh, just need to tidy up around the, the fitting of the light, and then the seal will be ready for painting. So I think that's pretty much all the work done in the kitchen now. Uh, we've got that box in there. Um, this is filled, just need to sand. It's been final filled, so. Kitchen's pretty much ready for decoration. Just needs a bit of prep work. Uh, yeah, we've got a new cooker order, so that'll come in. Um, got the floor up, we'll get all the, the trim out of here, ready for flooring. Get the trim off. There, there, ready for flooring. Take this off as well, so we can get all the flooring sucked underneath for a neat finish. Obviously, we'll get the whole, we'll get the whole kitchen painted first. Okay. Hey right guys, um, just about fit the insulation now. If you remember, I repaired this uh, outside tap pipe that was burst. I didn't have insulation at the time, but I've got some with me now. So it's just a simple case of measuring. 
Let's get that cut with the saw now. I was just in the process of taking the bath out, uh, I've disconnected the taps underneath there, the waste's been disconnected. I've cut this pipe here, because it's running through the supports. This is actually the waste pipe from the basin unit there, um, so I'm going to have to cut it here as well, just to get this out. Uh, I'll take it in there. So the basin waste that's running through the supports of the bath, so I'm going to cut it here. Um, I'm going to use my pipe slice. Um, this is a pipe slice for a plastic waste pipe, just like this. Uh, so you just, just like the, the copper pipe slices, you just slip over the pipe like that, put a bit of pressure on it and just turn it slowly. Hopefully you can see that's cut. Problems. <laughs> about to take the bath out there. Um, obviously, I'm running in the blade along the silicon seal, pulling the bath out, and here what we find. If you use one of these seals, it goes up behind the first course of tiles and then onto the bath. So it's not. I need to make really sure that I can cut this right at the base. Now, without, I don't want to disturb all these tiles and risk smashing them. So this makes it a bit more difficult getting this out. Um, I think there's been water running down the back of these tiles anyway, you can see. See the grout there. Um, subsequent mould. Um, so once I get this bath out, I'm going to have to have a good look at this whole area just to see what the problems have been. Right, it's a bath out guys, um, but just <laughs> feel the whole host of waters here. Um, uh, man, I think I'm gonna have to have to contact the, the property agent. I think all these tiles are gonna have to come off. Or at least up till but to where we find the mould, you know, it might be halfway. Possibly. Um, we'll see, we'll see what sort of condition, but I think the idea here is peel them off. I think we need to get some new plasterboard in there. And this section flooring is going to need renewed. I can only put my foot through this. Yeah, it's just totally wrong. So, I think the issue here has been the grout and the tiles. Um, the lack of. There's obviously been gaps or cracks in the tiles and the water's just getting, been getting in behind and coming down. Uh, somebody's, somebody's obviously been in here before to fix this because there's loads of clear silicon in behind some of the tiles. Which is absolutely useless, you know, so... There's obviously been issues in this bathroom before. Um, I need to... I need to have a chat with some people and <laughs> just... I can see there as well. Um, it's a bit of a disaster. You do come across this with bathrooms, um, this is by no means the worst I've seen, uh, but it's a lot more extra money yeah, to, to rectify this. And time, it's going to eat into my schedule, that's, a, that's the worst thing with these jobs. I mean, I've got a stack of other jobs in the back of this. Um, you start messing with this sort of stuff, you can easily add another week on the job. Um, anyway, I was just sort of show you what we're up against. Right guys, I'm just away. I'm actually going to just cut these pipes now and cut them off due to additional work. Um, we're obviously going to be here a lot longer than we thought, so cut these. Just using my back of a 22mm pipe slice. These are actually larger pipes, are 22mm here in the UK for, for bath water usually. Um, but as per my OTMC loadout, um, I think I featured these end caps that I carry. These are 22mm. Um, I carry 15mm as well, which you probably saw I capped off the, the basin pipes with the other day. So 
Anyway, right, we'll get these pipes cut and get these caps on. Right, pipe slice. Slip over the pipe and just turn in the direction of the arrow. Take a few more rotations. These 22 milks are slightly thicker pipes. So there we go. That's a cut. And cut pushed on. Same here. Up, slip it on like that and then push down. <laughs> okay, that's both pipes isolated now. I can turn the water back on now and carry on what we're doing. Right, guys, I'm back at this wardrobe again. <laughs> uh, what I've done just now is just take the tracks out, uh, top and bottom. Right, guys, uh, I've just left the bathroom at the moment. That's nothing I can do until I get some. Uh, responses from the, the owner and the proper agent. Um, so these wardrobe doors are to be delivered shortly so I'm just going to cut this plasterboard out. This is going to be the, the new height of the doors uh, to fit standard doors in here as I explained in my previous video. So I've just given that a rough mark along there. Uh, down there I'm just going to cut the plasterboard out um, using my multi-tool. So we'll get that out and then that will reveal the framing and then we can move the framing up slightly and then raise the the lining of the, the wardrobe doors. I'll get that done now. Guys, uh, I've just cut the plasterboard. Um, it's roughly about 20 mil higher than it needs to be, than it should be, but the trim will cover that. Um, so obviously we'll get the this framing out. We'll take the horizontal brace out, uh, the verticals out. Move the horizontal brace up, get it secured along there. And then we can take the chop the door lining off, move that up uh, to the desired height, which is 2260. Um, get that installed. Well, obviously cut the rest of the plasterboard out from the re reverse side once I get this moved. Um, you'll see what I'm doing once I get going. Um, so ultimately take all this out at the moment, fit it up in here, cut the plasterboard out and then move the lining up. Um, I think I'm just going to extend the current lining. I mean, there's no weight on these doors. The the top, the top uh, rail is just a guide. Um, all the weight will be on the rollers along the track at the bottom, so should be fine. We'll just extend this, extend the trim, um, and fill it properly and paint it. It should be fine. Right, we'll do that now. Right, I'm just uh, adjusting this frame. This is where the reset uh, saw comes in really handy. A metal cutting blade on. Um, you can see I'm just in the process of cutting this out here. Um, to get these out, uh, they're obviously toe nailed in, so get the recep saw in there with the, the metal cutting blade, it just hacks right through that nails there as well. Um, because I want to save this bit of timber, so not ideal, I just thought I'd show you. <laughs> yeah, so that's the header knocked out there. Simply fits over. Uh, basically, just hit it up the way with the with our mallet. It's only three nails, nails holding it. So that's it. Um, with the header moved up. Oh, with the new framing in here. First of all, move the header up to the, the size we need. And it should be a simple case of just attaching the tracks top and bottom and fit slotting in the sliding doors. Obviously put the new bit of trim back on the top and a new bit of trim up the side, this side as well. Right guys, that's the top plate roughly in position. So there's not much more I can do here. I need to get um, obviously the right timber for the lining. And I'll get that tonight on my way home. Um, get these sides fitted in and that will allow us to get I actually need to get more lengths of trim actually. Um, I need to match that from the, the joint of the company, so I'll get that matched as close as possible. Um, get the trim on, and that'll be the job done there. Just 
Just need to wait for the doors to come and then I'll get the tracks in the bottom. Tracks on the top and hopefully they should just click in, hopefully. <laughs> then it'll be a case of, you know, just caulking all around the edges and painting. This room's getting decorated anyway, so. We can do that all at once. Just shows you, um, this was when I quoted this job, it was supposed to be a relatively simple straight swap of doors. Um, <clears throat> but these are the type of problems you come up against. Um, non standard sized doors. I should have known better when I measured them when I quoted it, but yeah, such is life. Yeah, these are the things uh, you come up against. Um, I've seen a lot of jo uh, videos about estimating recently. Um, these are the type of things you can't really estimate for. I mean, the doors were a non standard size. I should have actually taken my time when I was quoting the job and measured them and researched it, but I didn't, I didn't think. I thought it would just be a straight swap. But uh, here you go, here you go. <laughs> We've had to dismantle half the wall to, to make a new door fit. Um, so, that, the bathroom, um, that's going to be a bit of a saga, I think. Uh, it just shows you. What I'm trying to say is it's very difficult to estimate these types of jobs. You just have to give a price for the job and detail it in your quote that that's what you price for. Anything over and above that, it's additional costs. Um, I'm uh, quite meticulous when I'm estimating. Uh, I used to be an estimator as part of my, my corporate job. Um, just as part as, you know, I kind of climbed up the ranks in the corporate uh, world. Um, but piping estimator was one of my jobs on the way up, so um, I've got a good good grounding in estimating. Yeah, as I was saying with the wardrobe, uh, you know, estimating these types of jobs is very difficult. Um, and I obviously gave a price for this whole job, uh, but didn't expect this type of things. So you have to be very detailed in your quotations and, you know, be very clear that these type of issues are, are not, not included. You know, to be honest, this, this bathroom is basically new floor, new bath, a uh, new basin in here, and decoration. A light and extra like fan, so nothing too much. A shower screen, sorry. Um, but now it's turned into pretty much a full bathroom. <laughs> um, so, it's just the way things go. Uh, as I said, the biggest issue for me is the knock-on effect. You know, all our jobs have got sort of booked in and lined up. Um, Covering this, it's going to, I reckon, at least a week, depending on what she does. Uh, she might just go for a wet wall, or I don't know, I'll have to wait and see. Um, but I've got a feeling they'll be fully tiled uh, with a new shower screen. Obviously, tile here as well, get the space in there, floor in. And there's a good bit of work there on its own. So, yeah, guys, once again, uh, thanks for watching, and um, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe to my channel uh, where you can see the follow on videos from this one. Um, I think this will be phase three. I think it might be got to about phase 15 at this rate. Uh, but I'll just keep posting, I'll keep uh, updating my channel uh, with this renovation. Uh, anyway, and you can see it, uh, follow it through to uh, the end and see see how it all turns out. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Um, if you do, uh, it'd be great if you could like the video. And as I say, subscribe if you can and share the video if you feel the need. Uh, Okay guys, till the next one. Yeah, I'll get this one uploaded and then I'll do it'll probably be a couple of days time we'll get the another update up and you can follow on. Okay, thanks again guys. Have a